Tate Orendorf coming from the West Coast. Well, actually, Spokane, right? Yeah. Coming over here to Akron, Ohio. Beautiful Akron, Ohio. Way better than Spokane, I'm sure. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's being, you know, coming from the West here. You know, you got to come to the Midwest a lot. You know, yeah. you're in PA a month and a half ago. Flow Nationals. Don't get what you want there. You come here and you get some revenge. Talk about the revenge against. You had revenge in the finals and then revenge in the semifinals against. Uh, Vo in the semifinals. He beat you in the semifinals of Flow Nationals. But talk yeah. about the revenge factor this weekend. Well, I just went hard, hard to work, and I, I don't know. I was looking for revenge that whole time I was training from Flow all the way to here. And those are the two guys I lost to. I lo I've only lost twice with it since Fargo. Those were the two that I've lost to. So that's that's a big deal. Whenever I'm, whenever I'm talking to guys who are from the West, whether it be the West Coast, whether it be Montana, Idaho, Washington doesn't matter you guys have way more travel than these kids from Ohio Pennsylvania yeah. Jersey Michigan they're right in the hotbed of wrestling doing all that traveling taking a flight here it's a day of travel yeah. for you and a lot of people don't realize that I realize that I go out west a lot but does the travel get to you yeah for sure we were on a plane ride it was miserable it was a lot of turbulence and I was just like what I, I was saying it for a second what am I doing but then I realized it's all worth it it's, definitely worth it to get, that, to get that much better. Not cutting weight. How awesome is that? It's pretty good, but sometimes it can can get to you. Like last year when I was wrestling, Martin, it, he was had a 40 pounds on me, so I put on some weight and I, uh, it was a lot easier. I could handle him way better. Do you feel like West, you know, Western states, the West Coast doesn't really get a lot of respect when it comes to high school rankings and high school wrestling? For sure. There's a lot of tough tournaments down there. And I've wrestled both and I've there's definitely some real tough kids in the West that don't get recognized. Carrying this momentum from Greco Roman winning, you know, Fila Cadet Greco, taking that momentum into tomorrow's freestyle. What do you got to do to capitalize off this and keep the keep keep the wave rolling? I guess. Well, it's a big transition from getting your hips into getting down in a stance. So I guess just carry. I'd still like to throw in freestyle and carry. I guess carry the momentum still. It's a lot of momentum going into freestyle, knowing that I beat a lot of the tough kids going in. I heard a vicious rumor you're going to be at Coeur d'Alene High for a camp coming up here in the next couple weeks. Is that true? Uh, I think with uh, Kevin Roberts. With Coach Roberts. Yeah, I, I had school that week, but we're going to stick around might... for you. I'm hearing. Yeah. I'm... Are you excited? And when you look at that, being able to you know work with some college coaches, right now, if you were to give me a list of schools, what are the, what's the list of colleges right now? Uh, I mean, my dad went to Oregon State. I really like Oregon State. I uh, really like Stanford. I want to get a good education, so those are two big ones. So. Staying out west? Yeah. But, you know, I, I'm not closed to any other schools. It's still wide open. So. Tate, you got anything else for me? No. All right, hey, good luck in freestyle. Stop beating my Ohio guys. And, uh, you know, enjoy your time here in Ohio. Thank you.